So, good day once again. My name is Graphics. Now, I'll be taking this example on um, stress. It says a standard 12 millimeter diameter of a tensile specimen has 50 millimeter gauge length. The load corresponding to the 0.2 percent offset is 8,000 kilogram, and the maximum load is 9,500 kilogram. Fracture occurs at 8,600 kilogram. The diameter after fracture is 8 millimeter, and the gauge length at fracture is 62 millimeter. Calculate A, number one, ultimate tensile strength, B, offset to its strength, 3, breaking stress, C, fracture elongation, percentage elongation, and percentage reduction. Now, this is what we are going to do here. First of all, you're going to write the data or the parameter solution. Solution to the data. Now, the first thing we need to understand is that what? The original area, the original diameter. Since the standard, a standard 12 millimeter diameter, so the standard there, the diameter is what? 12 millimeter. That means the original diameter of the specimen. So we are going to say original diameter, original diameter, right? Which is, let me call it DO. And that will give me what? 12 millimeter. Is that taken? And if I convert it to meter, it will be 12 over 1000. And that will give me 0 0.012 meter. That is our original diameter. Now, it has 50 millimeter gauge length. So, like I said earlier, the gauge length is the original length of the what? Specimen. So, my gauge length gauge length that is E the gauge length is which is given as L O that will be what 50 millimeter is that the case? that is 50 millimeter and if you convert it it will be 0 0.005 meter now, the next thing we'll be dealing about will be, it says, the load corresponding to 0.2% offset is 8,000 kilogram. Now, it means that 0.2 offset, like if I have my graph this way, right? You know when you move at this point, elastic limit, and you go to the yield point, right? Then you go further, this is B and this is what? C. So at this point here, it says the offset here is what? 0.2%. Is that the key now? So at that point, what is happening at that point? So the force. Offset force. That is the force that is a result of offset. The offset force, let me call it that way. We we'll call it. Let me put, call it P Y, because that point why I call it Y is the yield force also. Because at that point here now the offset. At this point, let me show you. At this point here, there will be offset, permanent set here, from the yield point here, from B to what to C, right? So we we'll call it the yield stress, and it's caused by the yield force so let's proceed and see how it goes so that will give me 8,000 kilogram 8,000 that is kilogram mm, times what 10 and that will give me what 80,000 80,000 Newton 80,000 Newton is that again so the next thing we're talking about is that the maximum load is what? 9,500. So the maximum load that it can take, that is the ultimate force, the ultimate um, force it can take. So for the maximum load, hmm, or we'll say 
the ultimate what that will give me my p maximum the force of the maximum load is given as what uh maximum load 9500 9500 kilogram and that will be what that will be times 10 because it's a force now so you convert from it from kilogram to newton and that will give me what 95 thousand newton that's the maximum load now fracture occurs at eight thousand six hundred what at eight thousand what six hundred kilogram so the fracture occurs at eight thousand six hundred kilogram now watch the force that brings the fracture so fracture force fracture force call it pf and that is what 8600 kilogram 8600 kilogram that is times what 10 and that will give me what 86000 newton that is the fracture force now if you move further the diameter after fracture you get logic now the diameter after fracture will be so the, the diameter at fracture will be so diameter we call it fracture diameter diameter at fracture will be d what df and that will be what um 8 millimeter 8 millimeter and if I convert it it will be 0 0.008 meter divided by 1000 is that taken now and the gauge length at fracture so the original length original length at fracture and that will be LF so what did that give us? 62 millimeter. So if I convert it to meter, I'll be having 0 0.062 meter divided by 1000. So this is calculate the following. Now one thing you need to understand is wherever there is diameter, there is what? There is area. So if I'm to do that, I'm going to calculate the area at what? The area at fracture. So the original area, since we have original diameter, we also have what? Original what? Original area. Original area, that is what? AO. Right? And that will be by DO all over what? 4. DO square over 4. So this will give me to be. 22 over 7 multiplied by 0 0.012 square all over 4 now if you press your calculator 0 0.012 square will be what this then multiply by by um, 22 times 22 we have that divided by 7 divided by 4 we have 1.131 times 10 to the power minus 4 so we have this will give me 1.131 times 10 to the power minus 4 is that again meter square that is original area now the next thing we talk about since we have uh, diameter at fracture, so we have fracture diameter. Fracture what? Diameter. Fracture diameter. So that will give me, sorry, fracture area, sorry. Fracture area. That will give me AF.
which will give me pi d square f over 4. And that will be 22 all over what? 22 over 7 times what is the diameter of the fracture? The diameter of the fracture is what? 0 0.008 square all over 4. So and that will give us 5.027 times 10 is power what? Minus 5 meters square.